Hey guys, and welcome to my new movie review for the brand new action-packed film from Liam Neeson, Honest Thief. Now, one thing before I get into this movie review that I need to talk to you about first, I just want to get this off my chest just to go blah. I'm not annoyed about it, I just don't understand this. So, if for those of you who know anything about this, Liam Neeson actually said himself, he actually professed that he wasn't going to be doing any more action films. I forget which movie that was after, but he actually, you know, made a statement saying that he was finished and done with action films and he was going to do more, you know, subtle movies and more romantic comedies or, or, you know, just nicer movies, just not action films. So this is an action film, which didn't annoy me, but just made me go, wait, what? Like, I thought that you weren't going to do action movies anymore. But obviously, Liam Neeson is brilliant at action, and obviously, the directors and the producers of this movie convinced him, and the script was good enough, so he went for it. So anyway, without further ado, guys, this is my thoughts on Honest Thief. Honest Thief came out this year, 2020. It is rated M, and the duration of Honest Thief is one hour and 39 minutes long. Honest Thief is an action crime drama movie with the director of Mark Williams. And the cast of Honest Thief is obviously the one and only, the great, the brilliant, the mind-blowingly action-packed, incredible man himself, Liam Neeson, who plays the character of Tom, Kate Walsh as Annie, and Jai Courtney, who plays the character of Agent Nivens. Now, guys, I'll give you my personal thoughts on Honest Thief right after this synopsis, and then I'll roll this intro. Wanting to lead an honest life, a notorious bank robber turns himself in, only to be double-crossed by two ruthless FBI agents. So straight off the bat guys, I'm gonna actually go into this straight away. First of all, for anyone who has been following my channel for any period of time, you know that I do not do spoilers in my movie reviews at all, because in my personal opinion, spoilers are not fair. And if you wanna see a movie that bad, just go and see it. Like if you wanna be spoiled, go and see it. However, there are spoilers in this movie, but you won't hear them from me. And then the other thing that I wanna say straight off the bat guys, is in my personal opinion, does Honest Thief have the core quality essential thing in its DNA for audiences like me to want to revisit it days, months, especially years later for a rewatchable experience, which I like to call in my humble personal opinion, guys, which my audience love, rewatchability, guys. Does Honest Thief have rewatchability straight off the bat? And that to you, I say, guys, for real? Definitely. Yes, it does. Now, what, a few reasons why. A few reasons why. First reason being, the character chemistry dialogue, dialogue between Tom and Annie was incredible. It was so real. I bought every element of it. And it was so pure. It was really authentically genuine. And every single time that they had dialogue, you know, chemistry together at all, in any way, shape, or form, specifically, specifically when they first met, it was brilliant. It was so executed incredibly. And I, I bought their relationship. I felt their love for each other. I, I felt their beautiful communion and I felt that these two were a beautiful, unbelievable couple. Every element of their relationship worked for me. It was so incredible to see two characters, actors, people on screen, and you felt what they were feeling. You understood it as an audience member this is legit. Like, this is actually legit. These people genuinely feel this way for each other. Even if it is just a movie, 
As an audience member, I bought every single moment of their character chemistry and their dialogue together, especially the way this movie flows. And I tell you what, guys, speaking of flow of the movie, this movie's pacing is brilliant, is incredible. Like, honestly, guys, it's just unbelievably smooth to every dynamic of smooth can be. The this is this is one of the most brilliantly executed movies I've seen in a like I mean not a really long time but specifically for Liam Neeson, honestly guys this really is one of the top shelf movies like honestly it's so much fun it is so captivating it takes you in and it really 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 does as an audience member, just sit you back in your seat and especially scenes that actually put you on the edge of your seat because of stuff that happens in the action elements of this movie. For example, a second thing that I want to bring up in my in this review, guys, is every single time that the dog was on scene, I laughed. Every single time. It was so cute. It was so adorable. It just made me feel warm and fuzzy inside. And I'm a dog lover. I don't own a dog, unfortunately, but I'm a massive dog lover. And that, every single time, it just cracked me up. And the chemistry between the dog and its owner was just so funny. Like, it was just so funny. I bought every moment of it, and it just worked. Like, it worked every single time. And it's it's just amazing at how simplistic you can watch a movie with a dog in it and be just like it from uh, you know moments of, a, of 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 cinematic time be like huh that's cute you know what i mean it's so simple so subtle and yet so unbelievably effective so the third thing i want to talk about right now is i actually want to talk about a scene that got me and i felt it i really felt it oh damn those of you who have seen the movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And when you see the movie, when you see it, you'll know, you'll know what I'm saying as soon as you see it. The garage door opening scene, what happens in the sequence of that scene, I really, really felt that. And I did not see that coming at all. Because of the fact that when the character is in there, he sort of, uh, he sort of drops his guard as in, oh, okay, all right. And then he goes to open the door and the shock, the the hit, the shock of what happens in that scene, just, yeah, it really sat me there. Ah, what the? It was just so well executed and just really, really, really well paced out and planned. And th that is what this movie has, guys. It has brilliant, brilliantly executed moments of planned out sequences that just gel perfectly together every single step of the way and it really is mastered like that the fourth thing i want to talk about guys in this review is actually the countdown scene when you see it you'll know exactly what i'm talking about and those who have seen it the countdown scene seriously now i just want to say something really quickly that the countdown scene is actually in the trailer it's in the trailer so when you see that you'll know what i'm talking about in the context of the full film itself it is so unbelievably brilliant. Now, this isn't a spoiler to any degree at all, but I just want to talk about the last car sequence with Jai Courtney. The last car sequence with Jai Courtney, I just want to say this about it. I just want to say this. The execution of it, the execution of it disappointed me personally. It was a good scene. Don't get me wrong. It was a good scene. I just wanted the execution to turn out better or different to what it actually did turn out as. It wasn't bad. I just was like, ah, oh, really? Ah, oh, you went there? Bummer. But in saying that, guys, this movie is brilliant. Do I recommend it 100%? Yes. 100% absolutely. You guys are going to thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this film because it is a... a, a, a I was going to say Christopher Nolan, a Liam Neeson action film with so much heart, unbelievably brilliant character chemistry, action as always, and just combat like it always is. It's a Liam Neeson film. I mean, what can go wrong, honestly? This film is brilliant. I highly recommend it. 
And for anyone who has been following my channel for any period of time, you guys know what time it is, guys. Guys, it is time in my movie reviews for me to give you guys trivia because I know exactly what trivia is like and you do too. What's it like? Guys, trivia is like icing on a cake and who doesn't love cake? Ah, oh, I love cake. It's like cake so good. So guys, it's trivia time. It's called Pursuit 2019 for which Liam Neeson previously declared was going to be his last action movie role. Next piece of trivia is guys. Members of both the film and costume team work independently with the Hanover Theatre in Conservatory for the Performing Arts, in front of which Liam Neeson and Jeffrey Donovan filmed scenes on December 4th, 2018. Next piece of trivia is guys. The car chase scenes were filmed in November 2018 on Main Street in Worcester. They also filmed scenes in U Mass Memorial Medical Center Hospital at 55 Lake Avenue, Worcester. Next piece of trivia is guys, fall 2018. Parts of the movie were being filmed at Life Storage in Roxford, MA, a town in Worcester County, approximately 54 miles from Boston. Next piece of trivia is guys. Part of the movie was filmed in front of UMass Memorial Medical Center in Worcester, MA on the 11th of December, 2018. Next piece of trivia is guys. And guys, this is my final piece of trivia. I will leave you with this and I really, really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for clicking this link and thank you for watching my review for Honest Thief. Second Liam Neeson action film to be released in the month of October following Taken 2, 2012. Guys, I appreciate your time more than ever. Seriously, for those of you who are new to my channel, it's really good to have you here. I appreciate you clicking on this link. Seriously, it's amazing for you to be here. And if you haven't already and you're new to my channel, first of all, welcome. And if you'd be so kind and go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And while you're subscribing, don't forget to click that bell for notifications and go, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on my movie review. That way I know you're appreciating my content as much as I'm giving it to you guys. This is my movie review for Honest Thief, bringing it to you from this is Superman Steve, always loving you guys and appreciating your time. Flying out!